Welcome to Learn Yourself. Exercise 4.4, question number 1. Set up equations and solve them to find the unknown number in the following cases. So first is, we have to write equation and then we have to find out that unknown number. That means we have to find out a number for a variable. So let us first set an equation. Add 4 to the 8 times a number. So first we are going to guess a number. Here we are going to guess our number that is x. x is our number. They are saying 8 times a number. Times means multiplication. So 8 into x. Add 4 to. So we are going to add 4 here into 8 times a number. This is our number. We have guessed this variable as our number. You get 60. You get means equals to 60. Now this is our equation. We are going to solve this equation and we will find out the value for x. So let us find out that 8x plus 4 equals to 60. Now here this 4 we are taking towards other side. So it is positive. It will become negative. So it is going to be 8x equals to 60 minus 4. So we will get here 8x equals to 56. Now this 8 is in multiplication. When we are changing a side, it will go to denominator. So x equals to 56 divided by 8. So 8, 7 is a 56. So x equals to we got here 7. So there will be two answers for this question. First, we have set up this equation. And second, that we found out this unknown number. And that is how we are going to solve each and every numerical in this question. B. One fifth of a number. So here again we are guessing our number x. One fifth of a number. Of a number means multiplication. Times of a number will suggest multiplication. So one fifth is this. Of a number means we are multiplying that x with that. Minus 4. So minus 4. Gives 3. Gives means equals to 3. So this is our equation. So step by step you have to decode the sentence and you have to write your equation. So this is going to be our equation and this is first answer. Now one fifth x minus 4 equals to 3. Let us solve this and find out the value for the x. Minus 4 is there when we are taking other side it will become positive. So one fifth of x equals to 3 plus 4. We will get here 7. So 1 fifth of x equals to 7. Now 5 is in division. When we are changing a side, it will go to numerator and it will go to multiplication. Divisional number, when we are changing a side, it will go to multiplication. So x equals to 7 into 5. We will get here x equals to 35. So this is going to be our second answer. C. If I take 3 fourth of a number, so first 3 fourth of a number of means multiplication. Our number here is x and 3 fourth of a number means we are going to multiply 3 fourth with that and add 3 to it. So here our number is 3 fourth of a number. So it is in multiplication. We are going to add 3 to that. I get 21. So we will get means equals to 21. So this is going to be our equation. Now let us solve this and find out the value for the variable. Equals to 21. Now this is 3. We are changing a side of that. It is going to other side and it will become negative. So 3 fourth of x equals to 21 minus 3. So we will get here 3 fourth in multiplication with x equals to we will get here. 80. Now see here 3 fourth of number is there. Now there are two methods. First method is the whole fraction I am taking towards other side. So 3 fourth of x equals to 18 is there. The whole fraction together I am taking towards this side. So the reciprocal of this fraction will go to other side. In multiplication with 4 by 3. So 6 3 is 18. I will get here x equals to 24. The other method is stepwise we are following that 3 fourth of x equals to 18. 
this 4 is in division let us take it towards other side so it will go to multiplication so 3x equals to 18 into 4 now in the next step we are taking this 3 towards other side it is in multiplication it will go to denominator so x equals to 18 into 4 divided by 3 now it is the same what we have written here but stepwise we have transferred the whole fraction here and here we have Transfer the full fraction in one step. Both are same. We will get the same answer. Here we will get 6. 3 is 18. So x equals to we will get 6 into 4, 24. So either way you will get the same answer. And you can follow whatever method you are comfortable with. So this is our answer. D is when I subtracted 11 from twice a number. Our number is x and they are saying twice a number. Twice a number means we have to multiply here 2 with the number. And then we are subtracting 11 from this. We are taking 2x here and from that we are subtracting 11. The result was 15. Result was 15 means equals to 15. So when there is an equation for the subtraction, you have to make sure that which number will come first and what you are subtracting from which number. So that is important. So this is our equation. This is first answer. The second is we are going to solve this equation and find the value for x. Now this 11 is along with negative sign. When it will change the sign, it will become positive. So 2x equals to 15 minus 11. Here we will get 2x equals to 26. Now this 2 is in multiplication. Once it will change the side, it will go to denominator division. So x equals to 26 divided by 2. So we will get here x equals to 13. This is our second answer. E is Munna subtracts thrice the number of notebooks. Thrice the number of notebooks. We do not know how many notebooks are there. So let us guess that number of notebooks are x. Thrice the number of notebooks means we are going to write here 3x. Subtract thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50. So this much notebooks he is subtracting from 50. From 50 means 50 will come first. From 50 means 50 will come here first. He finds the result to be 8. So equals to 8. So this is going to be our equation. Now let us solve this equation. And we will get the answer for the x. Now first this 50 number we are taking towards other side. So minus 3x equals to 8 minus 50. Because this 50 is positive. It will change the side. It will become negative. So minus 3x equals to we will get minus 42. Now again, two methods are there from here. Minus 3x equals to minus 42 is there. In first step, you can take this 3 into the denominator along with minus sign. So minus 42 divided by minus 3. Because it is in multiplication, you can take this negative sign along with the number. So here minus 42 divided by minus 3. So answer we will get here is 14 and that will be positive because both the numbers are negative. In another method, minus 3x equals to minus 42 is there. Here we are not taking sign along with that. So minus 42 divided by 3 is there. Minus x equals to we will get minus 14. Now after that you have to perform one more step that both the side we are multiplying with minus 1. So we will get answer x equals to 14 and that will be positive. Both the methods are correct. You can follow whatever method you are comfortable with. So this is our answer and that is second answer. F equation is Ibn Hal thinks of a number. So let us take that number x. If she adds 19 to it. So to the number she is adding 19 and divides the sum. They are saying that whatever sum we got here, this is a sum and she divides the whole sum. So we are not writing just below x or just below 19. The whole sum we are dividing with 5 and she will get 8. So this is going to be our equation. If you will write 5 just below x or 19, your equation will be wrong. Now this is our equation. Let us solve this equation. x 
plus 19 divided by 5 equals to 8. Now this 5 is in division when we are changing the side. It will go to numerator and in multiplication. So x plus 19 we will get 8 into 5. So x plus 19 we will get 40. 8 fives are 40. Now this is in addition once we are changing the side of 19 it will become negative. So x equals to 40 minus 90. So x equals to we will get here 21 and this is going to be our second answer. G is Anwar thinks of a number. Let us take our number x. Here you can take x, y, z, whatever variable you want to take, you can take. I am continuing with x variable throughout. So Anwar thinks of a number. Let us take that x is a number. If he takes away 7 from 5 by 2 of the number, of the number means we have to multiply 5 by 2 with the number. Our number is x. Let us first multiply 5 by 2. And he is taking away 7 from this number. So taking away 7 from this number means we have to write after this number this 7. 7 we are taking away from this 5 by 2 of number. And the result is 23. So that is how we have written here equation. This is our first answer. Now let us solve this equation. 5 by 2 of x minus 7 equals to 23. Let us take this 7 first towards other side. It is minus. It will become positive once it will change the side. So 5 divided by 2x equals to 23 plus 7. So we will get here 5 by 2x equals to 30. Now let us take this whole fraction together to other side. And this 30 will be multiplied with reciprocal of that. 2 is in division, it will go to numerator. 5 is in multiplication, it will go to denominator. Now, 5, 6 are 30. So, we will get here x equals to 12 as our answer. So, thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I will see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. Oh, 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 oh,